Hello, people of the internet. Um, today we're gonna talk about uh, how I prep in the morning before I get to, to working. Um, so, first let me ask a question. How do you guys start your day? Um, when you guys first get into the office, do you guys just immediately get into the grind? Do you guys check your emails and then go through that process and you know basically just start the day by working? Um, do you start the day by conversing with coworkers and jacking around for a half an hour, 45 minutes, and then finally getting to work? Like, how do you guys prep for your day? Um, something I found throughout my career, um, something that's helped me a lot, um, is I actually, I usually get into work 30 to 45 minutes early every day, um, mainly because traffic isn't that bad at the time that I'm leaving and stuff, but it also has helped me be able to have time before the office really is open to start getting my mind ready for the day. So if I know that I have things coming up and projects and whatever that I can prep and get ready, so that way once the client starts showing up or once the creative starts showing up, then I'm already ready to go. Um, some people don't like to do that. Some people just like to get started right away. Usually what I'll do is I'll come in, I won't even open up my email until the office is open. I won't go through any of that. Um, and I actually, I'll just start sifting through like creative feeds, things that have, release the day before or the weekend before or anything like that. And I actually, I'll go through that stuff and I'll start breaking it down. And I'll, sometimes I categorize it. Like I'll put certain things in certain areas to where I'm like, hey, I, I'd like to reference this later. or I'd like to look at this later or whatever. Sometimes it kind of gets out of control. I'll have like 30 tabs open at the same time, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> um, you know, so then when your computer crashes, which it does all the time, then I lose all those tabs. It's terrible. It's, it's a horrible way of doing things. But sometimes I'll grab a bunch of inspirational frames from stuff that I've seen and I'll put those in folders or I'll just I'll just sift. Like I'll, I'll think about ideas and stuff and I'll get my brain going and I'll go get some coffee and I'll sit there and I'll put my headphones on and I'll just drown away. So that way I can actually get my mind started the the creative process start like just really going through what you know what i need to go through before the client starts showing up because if the client starts showing up or the creative starts showing up and they start asking me questions and they really start having me like grind through processes like immediately i i don't do as well you know because i haven't really thought about things creatively yet like i'm still in the funk you know of like waking up and getting my process going i don't really want to start working yet, you know. Um, but this, the way that I've been doing it is I, I wake up in the mornings, I do my typical routines and then I'll go into work and I'll start, like I said, I'll kick through some feeds. Um, I'll open up some projects. I even, I, I even what I'll do is I'll, I'll set up um, inspirational stuff for things that I might try to like figure out how they made it, like for, for projects and stuff like that on the side to where like, Let's say I see something in some frames or whatever that I'm like, man, that is amazing. I think I might be able to recreate that and I'll just put those in other folders so that way when I have downtime, I'll try to recreate it or I'll try to make something that's similar to that or whatever. Or I'll see tutorials or something that I'll put in a side that does the same thing. So that way I'm always working even when I don't have, say, a project that's in front of me. Um, because that inspirational stuff gives me a chance to think about things and go, oh man, that would be awesome to use that. Um, something I've been doing lately is like when I'm learning Houdini and I'm going through that, um, that I've been doing a ton of tutorials because this, you know, Houdini is very hard to, to pick up. Um, there's a lot of things involved in it. There's a lot of things I haven't touched like math and forever. Um, I haven't ever done any coding. And so I'm just grinding through tutorials, just one after the other after the other. And I started thinking that what I should do is I should grind through these tutorials. And then when I'm done with them, I should categorize them Put them, put them away and then start making them so that way I can turn them into tools. So when I see something inspirational that I think I might be able to use one of these tools um, that I made in Houdini, that, that I can start combining them and start, I can start breaking down the Houdini tools um, to help me understand it a little better, but then I can also drive towards some of the inspirational stuff that I'm seeing. Um, but that all comes from early in the morning. Like that all comes from the time that I'm actually in the office before anybody anybody else gets there. Um, some people like to converse and, and talk with other people. I really, I don't, I don't get involved with uh, the other creatives that are in the office very often when it comes to early morning stuff because I like that to be my routine. I like that to be just me getting prepped, getting set up, you know, get whatever things I needed to get out out. 
And then as soon as say nine o'clock turns around and whatever you're supposed to be in the office, then I kick open the email and then the day starts. Um, then I start doing that stuff. But I think having those moments, those first 30, 45 minutes or whatever the day to where you can just decompress from, you know, the night before, the day before, reset up for the day, check out some cool stuff, maybe read. You know, um, I find that reading in the morning sometimes really, really helps me um, stay focused um, on what I need to get done for the day. You know, maybe write some notes out, um, do that kind of stuff. I do all that stuff um, to prep for the day. Um, so that's just a little insight of some of the things I do in the mornings. Um, I have a lot of different weird things that I do sometimes during the days and stuff to help keep me focused too. Uh, maybe I'll talk about those later. Let me know in the comments if you guys have anything that you guys would like me to talk about. Um, maybe even you guys have some rituals and stuff that you guys do in the morning to get you guys ready. Um, that may, maybe you'll help me or maybe you'll help the community. Let me know. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.